something's going to happen here in a matter of seconds. Watch this. We're just look at it. There are fish all over. Loop, fly by. The odd thing is, is a lot of times when you're doing this and you're just holding the bait suspended and you feel like little bumps like that, and you think they're dinky bass, and do you know what they are? They're big bass swimming by the bait and they're not really biting it. They're swim. They're coming up and looking at the bait and missing it. Drive by. Drive bys. Yeah, or fly bys. Yeah. <laughs> The, the real interesting part of this too is you'll, we'll actually pull fish 20 feet that'll come up and you can watch them on the sonar come up and grab the bait. These, these bass, as long as you have generally pretty clear water, they can see and know your baits there way better than you, than you think. I think one of the biggest things is also is, is getting the relative height of where the fish are willing to bite the bait. You don't want to, like a lot of times, most bass anglers, when they see the fish down on their, their electronics, what they do is they drop the bait right down to them. What we're doing is we're holding the bait above them a distance and forcing the fish to come up and strike the bait. And that's a big, par big part of it. This is why it's so hard for people to do this, because we're actually not jigging. It's, you hold that thing there, let it hover, and you get a bite and it feels like a bluegill a lot of time. I mean, it's yeah. nothing, and, but when you set the hook, it's like, Oh, wow, he wakes you up in a hurry, you know. Ah, uh, it's real high. That was really real high. Look at it. Oh, yeah, he's got at, another great big look one there. There's a big, See, big look fish. At, look at like that. Three, three inches under the surface here. One thing about these smallmouths is they, uh, when you get them out on these, when they're suspended like this, they're not by themselves. They're uh, no, they're grouped up. Well, that's the that's the interesting thing. This is like what you're talking. This big schools of these fish. I mean, tremendous schools of, of bass. And it's uh, once we actually got on this technique and we started messing around, it took a number of years for guys to really fine tune it. And a big part of it is the presentation, the subtlety of the presentation. You know what I mean? We, as you'll see, what we're doing, we're literally taking, this is a Trigger X minnow, and it's on a, uh, a smooching head, with, and what you want this bait to do is just hover vertically above the fish. But the thing is, is figuring out the fact that you don't jig it. That's one thing for bass anglers, because they're always doing something with the bait, imparting action into the bait. But the thing is, is if you actually watch these minnows, they're not always scurrying around. A lot of times they're just sitting suspended like this. Yeah. And they're very, very easy meals, I think, for bass, and they know it. Uh -huh. Aha. 